In this video, I'm just going to show you how to move the Unify controller install because by default, it goes to the user profile of whoever you are logged in as, which is not usually what you want. You might have a D drive or you just want to put it elsewhere. Um, so what we'll do, we'll just go through how to do that. So first thing you want to do is if you're running it as a program and not as a service, you want to basically close this window to kill the Unify controller. And then you want to go navigate to C, users, then whichever account it was you were logged in as during the install, in my case it was administrator, and you'll find the Ubiquiti Unify folder. Just cut this and put it wherever you want. I'm just going to ditch it in the C drive because I haven't got a different drive to put it in. Then the only other thing you'll need to do is repoint this Unify folder, uh, sorry, shortcut. So we want this pointing at C, Unify, and then C, Unify, like so. Apply that. If you lose the icon, you can change icon and point it back at that. Um, so you want C, Ubiquiti, point it back at the Unify icon file. And there you go. That is all you need to do to change that. You can fire it back up and your wireless should carry on working as it was. If, however, you've converted your Unify install to a service, the only difference there, where we uh, closed this earlier on, you just need to open up your services and then you want to scroll down until you find the Unify controller. Okay, so I won't have it because I haven't done the conversion on here yet. But you'll have Unify wireless controller in there. Stop that service, we just right click and stop. Once it's stopped, do the exact same stages again and just start the service again when you're done. Okay, so that was a fairly quick video. If you get stuck, just ask in the comments and I'll, I'll try and give you a hand.